Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to discuss how to fix the really annoying problem of the NVIDIA driver failed to install, specifically on Windows 10. Keep watching to find out how to fix it. Okay, so you've had the really annoying message pop up on your screen which says NVIDIA installer cannot continue or NVIDIA installer failed. You don't need that. Nobody needs that. Now, if you're using uh, certain games like Far Cry, which point blank just gets upset if you try and use anything but the latest drivers and recording software such as OBS, which I use quite frequently, if you're using an older version of the driver and you're using hardware encoding, it gets upset and it throws in nagging messages everywhere. So you've got to fix it somehow. So easiest way to do it is to follow these instructions. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to NVIDIA's website to start with. So go to nvidia.com and then go and find the drivers tab. Change it to be your graphics card. So in the selection boxes, choose your graphics card, version of Windows, etc, etc. And download the driver. Now I would suggest on this you select the driver and then download it and save it to your desktop. This will make things easier later on. Okay, so once the driver is finished downloading and saved to your desktop, now we need to close down the browser or open up another tab and go to Google or your search engine of choice and type in DDU and then hit enter. Now this will take you to the display driver uninstaller or DDU. So on the website, scroll towards the bottom and choose your preferred link. Now I'm in the UK, so I'm going to choose the UK link. And again, same procedure as before, download the program and save it to your desktop. This will make life easier later on. Okay, great, so you've got both of those items downloaded and waiting on your desktop. Now what we want to do is to restart the computer in safe mode. Now the easiest way of doing this is to hold and keep held the shift button on your keyboard. Go to your start menu, click on start, and then choose shut down and restart computer. But keep on holding that shift button and then when the machine reboots, you'll be presented with the recovery menu. Now in the recovery menu, we have a couple of options to choose from, either continue, etc., etc. but we want to troubleshoot. And then choose advanced options. But what we want to choose here is startup settings. So click on startup settings. And now we get the option to enter safe mode and all those other kind of things. So hit the restart button and after a short while you should have the machine rebooted but in the reduced functionality mode or safe mode. So you get the startup setting and you get to choose from various options. You can use the number keys or function keys depending on your preference. Now the various options you can choose, my personal preference would be just number four to enable safe mode. So we're going to go with number four. And after a short while, the system should boot up again. So type in your password and log in as you would normally. And when you get to your desktop screen, you'll notice that the uh, display looks a little bit weird, but don't worry, we're gonna fix that right away. Well, almost right away. So the first thing to do is to go to your DDU folder, which um, is hopefully unzipped or extracted. Now, if you go into the folder, and choose the DDU icon, it'll probably ask to be extracted again, so go ahead and do that. And then you just wanna run the DDU program. So when we open the program, there's various options available, and at the top, you've got the options which are available, but they're currently grayed out, so you need to go over to the right-hand side on the drop-down menu and choose what you wanna actually do. Now, you can choose to remove Intel graphics, AMD graphics, or Nvidia graphics. Um, unfortunately, I don't think there's a button you can do all at the same time, which is probably a good thing, but I'm not too sure. So anyway, first of all, we're going to choose ATI because we've taken an ATI card out of here previously, which may be causing our problem. So let's go ahead and remove the ATI graphics card. And we can click on the button to remove drivers, but we don't want to restart quite yet. So once the program's gone ahead and done that, now we can go and choose the same thing, but for NVIDIA. So on the drop-down box again, choose the NVIDIA setting, 
and then we want to choose to remove all the settings or remove all the drivers and this time we do want it to reboot. So we're going to go ahead, choose that, let it do its thing, which will take a little while. And importantly, when we're going to do this, when the system reboots, it's going to try and reload the drivers from its internet connection automatically because it doesn't know what it is, but it's got a vague idea, so it will try and download an approximate driver, which in some cases works out well, but in a lot of cases works out pretty badly. So the best thing to do is just basically disable your internet connection. So whether that's to pull out the USB, if you've got Wi-Fi dongle, or just literally unplug it. Take out your Cat5 cable or Ethernet cable from the back of the machine just while we're going back into the system for the first time. Okay, so our system's rebooted now and it's uh, back to having no drivers at all. So now we need to install the latest drivers. So this is where the downloads from earlier will come in handy. So we go straight to the desktop, go into our NVIDIA folder and start the NVIDIA setup routine. Now you can go ahead and choose whichever settings you please on this. It's entirely up to you. Um, I choose to do drivers only, but again, if you want the GeForce experience and all that kind of thing, then feel free to go ahead and do it. So that pretty much is it. All we need to do now is let the NVIDIA driver carry on installing, which it will do quite happily. If you do get any problems now, um, you've got some other problem going on in your system, but generally this cures 99% of all cases. So hopefully this video has been useful for you. If it has, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the chime icon to get more content like this in your inbox. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and this has been How To Fix Those Pesky NVIDIA Drivers. Thanks for watching.